Well, I, I, about 10 years ago, I was recovering from a, an accident, and a friend of mine who was doing Meals on Wheels Thank you. decided I should ride along with him uh, since I wasn't allowed to drive at the time. And uh, so that was my first experience doing Meals on Wheels, and as soon as I was able to drive again, I started doing it on a regular basis. I think meeting these people is really interesting. There's a lot of different people with a lot of different stories, and they really appreciate us coming and seeing them. Some of them may only see a person once a day when we come. So in addition to giving them, providing meals for them, we, we provide a uh, contact with, with the outside world. If you know Colorado, it can be lots of snow, and there's been times when four-wheel drive is the only way we could get to some of these homes. So it's important that the drivers that we have are familiar with the roads and familiar with driving in the snow, because it, it happens. Well, we're on our way to, to uh, deliver meals to Mr. and Mrs. Durrell. They live up on, on the top of this mountain we're climbing. The first time I, I delivered to them, um, he, the man came out to, to meet me and I said, wow, you have a beautiful place here. He says, yeah, I've been here for 85 years. Good morning. So he's a longtime resident. How are you and today? A super nice guy. And it sure has helped us out. Yeah, when she broke her hip, well then, uh, that's when we got meals on wheels. He doesn't cook. He was always, he always did all the outdoor work and I did the cooking. And I, I can't do it anymore, so it's a godsend for us, meals on wheels. <laughs>